get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See life's like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of P90X, Atari, and many more, how they overcome big challenges in life and business. I'm especially excited. Today, we have Lee Bellinger. He's founder of IndependentLivingNews.com, which has a private subscription, and they have tons of products for off-the-grid living, survival in an emergency, gaining independent income, and much more. Basically, they teach people to take control of their lives. Uh, He's the inventor of Power Whisperer Home Power Backup System, which we'll talk about and how he created it, the research done behind it. Independent living is noted for its successful predictions. And Lee, this was amazing. In February 1998, Lee published a front page illustrated prediction story on the destruction of the World Trade Center by terrorists, which we'll talk about how he knew that. He has been recognized by the White House for his work in state legislature and is a hero among his subscribers. Lee, thanks for joining me. Hi, Jeremy. It's great to be here. Thanks for that great introduction. Yeah. You know, Lee, since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask about the lowest point and then how you fought through those tough times. I had a, uh, in 1993, I, I went into a magazine venture. It was just the technology was just getting there. And I took over this uh, magazine that had failed called New Dimensions uh, and I tried to refurb it, and it was total amateur hour, and I was the biggest amateur of all. And uh, and uh, and what and do you mean amateur hour? It's just I I tried to take on a magazine. I tried to take on a magazine. I didn't have the capital. I didn't have the know-how. I didn't have the. I was a newsletter guy, okay. And it's a different business. And so yeah. all of a sudden, I'm dealing with newsstand stuff, and and it was a disaster. And I had ignored my core business for like 18 months. Hmm. And then in 1993, two days before Christmas, my house burned down. And I was Whoa. at the worst moment ever. Holy cow. House burned down. Uh, and my, uh, so. Everything, uh, everyone was, was okay, I'm assuming. Everything was fine. Okay. Everything, I, I got out. I, actually, I, my dog made uh, headlines. Uh, but he got me out of the fire. Really? Day, yeah, my dog Bundy and. And uh, the police were uh, the the firefighters were giving me oxygen, and they they said, "Did we just see that dog leading you out of that house?" And sure, so they called it into the papers, got on Paul Harvey, it got on the front page of the Annapolis paper, got in wow. the National Enquirer, and it was kind of funny. So the wow. dog got really famous. Um, the National Enquirer. Yeah. Oh, they love stuff like that. They they you know, dog saves man at Christmas. You know, uh, rescue dog and. Wow. So stuff like that. So that was the low point. And yeah. it took me a couple of years to rebuild my business. So, wow. But I never missed an issue. I never missed an issue. Um, I've been publishing continuously since 93. I don't know how I managed it, but I was yeah, really good at cash. It? And I, my brother got me. I mean, I got in a house uh, that my brother had at $300 a month. And I lived there for like two years. And uh, it just took me a while to rebuild. But, you know, wow. they can't take away what you know. Yeah. Um, if you have the knowledge and invest in yourself – um, yeah. you can lose everything and you can still rebuild. Yeah. And that's the great thing to always remember. You know, if you yeah. build, if you invest in yourself, you can always continue doing what you're doing. I mean, when that's, that all happens together, that's devastating. What do you tell yourself internally at that time? Are you, I'm just curious for you personally, what, what do you oh, think? If I have a marketing package, that doesn't work. I sulk like Achilles in his tent for a day and then I move on and yeah. I, I feel bad, you know. I'm, you give I'm, yourself a day to. I give myself a day. If it's a really big one, I might give myself two days. But it's, mm-hmm. and uh, and then I move on, and yeah. I'm like, you know. It's I'm just, just wondering your process for turning that around, because there's a point even after a day that's hard. If you you put a lot of time, energy, effort, money into something, or your house burns down, do you have something that you go through in your mind or that you yeah, do to get yourself out of a funk? I visualize where I'm going to be in a couple in a couple. Of, months or yeah. a year or two and just visualize where you're going to be yeah and remember that that uh you know you know and try to read stories about adversity how people come back and i pay attention to that i i agree with what brian kurtz says about being grateful mm. uh, express a little gratitude even especially when things are not where they want it where you want them to be right right but it is the human condition and uh the big thing i've learned is that none of that's unique 
we all have the, and you know, it can be small, something inconsequential, and some people have really big problems, and then some people have really small problems, but it is all relative. Right, right. It's all relative, you know, and I, I think that uh, just remembering, uh, that, but the other big thing is to visualize your future success and always be forward looking yeah. on, these, on these things. And I also just, you know, get rid of the negative people. That's that's a huge one. Yeah, how do you and do that? And that's not always easy what to do, you, do. Yeah, what do you do for that? Politely, slowly push them away um you can keep one only one but but if people that are negative tend to be you know they tend to to, to rub off on you so uh just just don't just don't hang out with them as much you know uh just just, just do it politely there's no reason to be you know ugly with people just just uh but identify this person is consistently negative and i've got you know we only have a certain amount of time to do things and yeah. you have you got to stay, I mean, not fake positive, but real positive that you could only get by investing in yourself and knowing that you've got these skills, you know, and it doesn't really matter what the skills are. Everybody's good at something. Yeah. What so, about on the flip side of things, one of the proudest moments in your career? Oh, gosh, lots of them. I, I did a, I took everything I knew and did a wedding proposal. I got married at age 55 and I did a marriage proposal uh, that was a video sales letter. It was a marketing really? that I turned into a cartoon. Is this uh, uh, viewable online or not? Yeah, it is. It is. Is I'll, it really? I'll send you the link. Where? It's. Uh, I don't have it in front of me. Oh, okay. But I've got it. I've so got you it. did a marriage proposal video sales letter? Yeah, I did it. Uh, I did. It. it was a three-minute thing, and I did it in a movie theater, and it's a cartoon. And your wife now I had no idea. Yeah, Donna, my wife. So. She's a hairstylist, so I kept this secret. She thought it was an endorsement of the Power Wisp by actor Gary Sinese. <laughs> so, and so the, the, I went to this elaborate scheme to get. And what so if she said, was had to go to the bathroom? Like, what would you do? What uh, would you have done? I didn't leave anything to chance. Okay. I mean, I, I spent. It took seventeen people to create this deception, and you know, uh, you can't get anything past a hairstylist because she's a hairstylist. And uh, so I just. Basically, the basically it was a three-minute video, and uh, it, it played during the trailer section of the movie. And she thought she was watch going to see me and Gary Sinese endorsing the Power Whisper. So did you I, tell she, her ahead of time, like you have an ad in this? Yes, you, you told uh, she her. She thought to, she huh? thought that it was a Gary Sinese. She there was no way she was going to the bathroom. So I and and so I even had her convinced that a limo Gary had sent the limo for us that we had hit it off and he'd sent the limo for us. <laughs> And so that there was no chance for her to be late. And uh, so she was in there waiting for the Gary Sinese um, thing. And, she, you know, I had her bring her friends and all, you know, so she was all excited. And, and it was a wedding proposal that was a cartoon. Wow. That's amazing. And, uh, and so, uh, yeah, it's, it's funny. It's about three minutes. It was my first foray into comedy. So it's a 100% conversion rate on the, on the video. <laughs> Uh, so, so if you want to no, hire Lee for uh, doing a VSL yeah, that's right. proposal, I'm the only guy that's he is 100. So. Of course, it was an audience. It was an audience of one, but it would have been a big, awful thing if I hadn't made it work. So it was, it was fun. It was, uh, it, it had a, uh, it highlighted a lot of funny things. This is online. Like someone could actually watch this. Oh yeah, yeah. Like if I, when I post this. Can I, I send this to you I'll, when we're off? I'll I'll shoot it to you so you can see it for yourself. Am I allowed to post it below? Oh, yeah, like yeah, in sure. the post. Sure. Okay. Sure. That's amazing, Lee. So, what about um, business-wise? What's been what's been a big milestone for you and proud moment? Uh, the biggest one probably was when I created the Power Whisper because I created a hundred. I created ninety-nine prototypes. Wow. And. Um, I sent this out to my list and I sold 628 wow. units thinking I, and I only had, you know, less than a hundred and I expected to sell half of that. Really? So I knocked it way out of the park, uh, not realizing. Yeah. These units are not inexpensive. Either. They, at that time they were 2000 each. Yeah. Now they're, I have them in ranging from 3000 to $6,000 yeah. at different levels of units. Yeah. A couple of different models, versions. Yeah. Wow. So that was a that was my first truly. I mean, I'd had lots of steady successes, but that was probably the most noteworthy business yeah. success. That was huge. It put me into the manufacturing business right away. <laughs> right. So, and that wow. took that took about a million dollars to master that. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> so, before um, I forget, before I forget, yeah, you said that 
top three people I want to meet. Yeah. Just in case you got any connections. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Clint Eastwood. Hmm. Okay. Henry Kissinger. And the other one is Marcus Lemonis. Do you know who that is? Of course. One of my favorite TV shows. Yeah, I watch that all the time. Yeah. yeah so uh, any of those three. Would I think be he's from Chicago area, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Clint Eastwood, Henry Kissinger, and Marcus Lemonis. Yeah, now Trump just went to see Kissinger, so you know he might have been. He might be. He's ninety-three, so he's he's up there, but yeah. he's doing. It looks like he's. I've, I've read some of his recent articles, and they're pretty darn good. So you are a religious prophet watcher TV show. Um, yeah, I love that show. I think yeah. I think that that uh, going in there and telling owners they have their head up their butt is. <laughs> A great way to great and yeah. I like Chef Ramsay too for that reason. What do you think Marcus Lemonis would tell you if he came in? Oh, I already know. He'd say, Yeah, you're doing this wrong and this wrong and you need to fix this and this is awesomely and this is needs work. But I don't know how to scale the power whisper. I've only been selling it to my audience and he said, You don't know how to scale this and I'm going like, Really? You think I don't know that already? Okay. I don't know how to scale <laughs> You've had this uh, <laughs> fictitious conversation. You're already ready for it. <laughs> I'm going to write so, in the prophet and have him show up at your door. So that guy's cool. I think he's pretty righteous. I like I like him and Chef Ramsey. And sometimes yeah. when I'm at a restaurant, I notice that's had an effect on restaurants. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, Lee, well, this is fantastic. Um, I really appreciate your time. I have one last question for you. But before I ask, uh, where should we point people towards? Should they go to independentlivingnews.com? Where, where else uh, should they find uh, you? They uh, My email address? No, I'm if you want, but yeah, no, no, Lee Bell and uh, independent living dot com and and uh, you know in I'm Lee dot Bellinger at American Lantern Press if they want to send an email to any me. Any particular like. post they should check out on independent living dot com. I that, don't really no, I no? don't no. Okay. I, I would suggest if you check out YouTube the the video on the on the power whisper is really interesting. Um yes, it, so it, it, I don't know that link name, but if you yeah, um, I mean, I just it, it's on your YouTube channel, so that's how yeah, I found it. YouTube channel. Um, so my last question, Lee, we you know, we talked a lot about predictions. So yeah. I'm wondering about what your predictions are now, whether it's health or I know you talked about the grid. Um, yeah. What are some of the big predictions that people should look out for now? Um, I'm predicting, yeah, that's, uh, I, I'm predicting the collapse of, of, or the great distress of a lot of America's enemies who are dependent on, on state owned oil enterprises. And this is like Russia, OPEC, you're already seeing signs that it's, that it's collapsing their business, their models. And, um, I think this is a huge shift in global power in favor of the United States hmm. In U.S. energy independence, which has been achieved, and uh, you know, not you know, and it was achieved by accident because Obama was so hard on the oil companies, they started operating really smartly, and they got so smart that they actually made a massive breakthrough that nobody predicted, including me. And so, like Russia and all these other countries in Venezuela, they were dictatorships that were based on on cheap, easy oil money. All of a sudden, now that it's plentiful and we no longer need them, it's a huge shift. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. I think that's a, a, a really, really big shift. The other, the other thing I've been predicting is uh, for three years I've been predicting uh, uh, in the final months of the uh, Obama administration and a clash, uh, possible clash with the uh, uh, Chinese in the in the South China Sea, which has been making a lot of news in the last year and a half now. Mm. But I'm I'm predicting that some kind of uh, you know I'm thinking that they might punch the Japanese Navy in the nose. Hmm. And I uh, expect us to come in, but I think there's something that might happen there uh, before Obama leaves. So, so in yeah. between Japan and China, uh, in a, I did a story, World War Three in three years, and that was you know written two two and a half years ago. Yeah, and it right. basically was that uh, rising tensions in the South China Sea and the danger to U.S. aircraft carriers. I'm very worried about that. Hmm. Uh, how that might happen. Uh, <clears throat> not be, not by a direct attack by the Chinese, but because uh, certain treaty obligations put us in a funny position there. Yeah. That's what have fine. we not talked about with independentlivingnews.com? Anything that we that's important that we left out? No, uh, not not really. I think you I think you, you I think you've covered 
pretty well what I what I'm what I'm about and what yeah. I do, and uh, I I think uh, uh, I do think that that it, it I think that I think that uh, I think I don't know I I think we covered it yeah. Uh, you know what I think? I think I'd love to see more videos online with you in them on your channel. Um, okay. So that's just we me. We started. Thank you. We're doing yeah. more of that. We're doing yeah. more of I that. I saw I that. Have a lot of I fun watched a few. It. Yeah. I, I like doing it, and it's fun making the predictions, yeah. and and yeah. it's uh, and and it's 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 kind of a way to tell people beyond just writing letter writing to them. I I do yeah. a lot of writing, and uh, uh, it's it's kind of fun to get back in the habit of talking about yeah. Yeah. about issues. Everyone needs to check out independentlivingnews.com and go to also the shop. It's really interesting what products, you know, info products, information, and physical products. Lee, I want to be the first one. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'll shoot you that email. Definitely. Yeah, I'm going to put the wife proposal in the post. <laughs> okay, okay, great. Thanks, Jeremy. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.